Hi everyone, it's Athena. All right, let's go around the wheel, shall we? Aries to Pisces, sun, moon, and or rising. Aries. We'll do this quick. Oh, hello. All right. We want to be seen. We want to be heard. I love it. And we want to be free. We just need a change of perspective. We just need to free ourselves, right? Who's going to save you? Yourself. No one else saves us but ourselves. We see the world. The world is the way that you see it, the way that you perceive it is your perception and not necessarily is it your highest for your highest good as well, the way that you're seeing things unfold. Okay, let's go. Aries, here it is. The sun, you're right there. You're right there. Be strong. Be content knowing that your freedom lies, your freedom and your happiness is just about changing your perspective, the way that you think, the way that you understand things, the way that you envision your life. That's all it takes. Taurus. Taurus, sun, moon, and or rising, page of wands. Looking to the future. Ooh, two pages, two children. One who acts. Does someone act out in and speak out without thinking? Are you ready to make a move, make a Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, someone, someone did you dirty. Wow. And it's about someone broke your heart, what they said, were they harsh with their words, with their actions, what happened, kids, um, is, is there heartbreak about a child? Taurus, are you dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? A, a uh, Leo Aries Sag. What is going to make you happy? What has hurt you with a child? Red Robins. I just found out through the grapevine. I found out through the grapevine, excuse me, grapevine, some information that really broke my heart. And I don't know why a child did not tell you, did not feel comfortable telling you about something that really broke you, break, broke you down. Oh yeah, look, I'm sorry, I am so sorry. Is this, are you, you did. I think you got information, you got information that really broke you down. I'm so sorry, I am gonna have to say, if this is a, heart issues of a child and or a father, brother, uncle figure. Maybe you just got news that someone has heart condition. Someone had a stroke, heart attack. I'm so sorry if this is anything to do with your health. I, I send you so much love. Um, if it is a child's health, again, sending you so much love and blessings. If that's not about a heart issue, it's something broke your heart, someone lied to you, deceived you, stole from you. I don't feel the stealing as much, but I have to say it because it came out. I think you found out some stuff that really hit you hard. Oh, Taurus, I don't know what to say. Wow, something happened. And you know, it's a general reading. I mean, come on, let's shuffle real quick. Okay, Gemini. Time stampers, you guys rock. Thank you. Okay, Gemini, let's see. Okay, Knight of Wands. What is left in the past stays in the past. 
Now let's look at our higher, what we need to now look at. The truth is your higher self is trying to get through to you. Like, listen, all is not lost. What are you worried about? Well, get out of your head. Get out of the way you think. Thinking is your ego, your sense of. Look at two knights fighting against what? Two knights worrying about something. Is it over money? Is it over? Is it over? Um, two children, immature. And I don't care how old you are. That's just a number. Two immature people, Gemini, going against each other. And you're worried and you're concerned because it's like, wow, we already had words were exchanged. Um, higher wisdom for your greater good. And we're not, you know, you're like stubborn. This is like so being so stubborn. I don't want to hear what you have to say. I want to be left alone. I want to just deal with, you know, I'm not sleeping. I just want to deal with, I just want to be alone. I just want to be alone and think about what I have and how I have to, like, how I'm going to go forward, right? Because two, there's two people that are butting heads and in the center of the butting heads is your thoughts, your you're not listening to your higher self. You're not sleeping. You know what you need to know. You already know what's coming or what's happened already, right? All right, Gemini. I want a new beginning. I want a new beginning, but I've got to really find the passion again because I lost the passion, right? This could be someone so guarded that they don't, have any more passion for life. I don't know why I'm going to say it. When we lose the passion for life mentally and physically, it becomes dis-ease in the body, hence diabetes, stress, massive stress. And all you want is either I'm waiting for money, a new job, a new beginning, but you got to get out of this stubborn, the stubbornness of, I don't want to talk to anyone. I want to be left alone. And whoever comes to me right now, I'm not, not interested. I'm not dealing. Okay. It happens. It happens. Why? Because sometimes we don't get the support we need. Sometimes people let us down. Unfortunately, more times than not, people let us down, right? I mean, it it is a very unfortunate and bittersweet truth. Okay, let's go. Cancer. Sun, moon, and or rising cancer. We did see it at the bottom, but I didn't know it was coming out. Love, are we fighting? Are we thinking... Uh, too many negative thoughts about someone, someone else. I, I'm not, certainly not seeing eye to eye with you. A refusal. I refuse. I refuse your offer. I don't want your cup. I'm not interested. I'm having fights with my significant person or if you're dating, you just had a blowout. If someone is Someone could be thinking about someone from their past and it's not good, right? Negative thinking about someone's past. Uh, if someone comes back to talk to you after a fight, you're right now not interested and you're just not feeling it. Okay. And listen, Cancers, when you're not feeling it, it's not good. Seriously. All right, I'm going to take these and I am going to take the Ace of Pentacles came up, but this time it's reversed, the Knight of, of Wands. And what do we need to do? We need to temper our anger. 
we need to temper the anger that lies within because someone has hurt us. Someone has kind of verbally, verbally and emotionally, it's like, I'm coming for you. If you have anything more to say, I'll keep coming back. If you want to fight, I'm coming back for more. I got more in my, you know, in my pocket. <laughs> if this is someone who says, I, let's, let's start over. I want a new beginning with you. You're not having it. You need to balance out the yin and the yang. If that is about your, right? It's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's the chi, right? Your energy. You need to rebalance your energy right here. Why are we not balanced? Because we want to start over. We want to start new. Maybe you're having a hard time about people who don't support you kind of similar to Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, because this is a Gemini card, uh, Sag, Cancer, you're dealing with an air sign perhaps or an earth sign and or fire. I mean, you could be dealing with anyone who you're, you're just not seeing eye to eye. That's really what it is. And you need to recalibrate your way of thought Either you, you know, they're in, you're in or you're out, is what I heard. Okay, Leo. Leo, sun, moon, and or rising. Leo, those came right out. The devil reversed. The, is this four of cups? Five. Five of cups, eight of wands, nine of pentacles, right? So something we got out of, we got out of our own way and fear-based mentality, right? Something blew up that wasn't something we wanted, right? It could easily be things of, things of the past that were really upsetting, right? That have happened are now giving you a chance to get back on your feet, financially independence, uh, getting messages, perhaps, of receiving financial independence or receiving your uh, fruits of your labor, right? Your hard work. This is not easy, right? This is not easy to go through, to not be fearful, to be emotionally available and start over. And that's exactly what you're doing here. Leo's beautiful. You could be also dealing or on the cusp of Virgo, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, is here and you're getting maybe a message coming in about, wow, I lost this one job offer or opportunity, but guess what? Something comes in and it saves you. And I was wrapping it up. And so someone's wrapping it up. Someone's leaving the past behind and going for the new. Cause I was just cleaning, like I was just wrapping it up. Maybe you're wrapping something up. Your past. I would say your past for sure. Okay. You're taking a new approach, a new job, something that you're doing for higher learning. You're, you're definitely receiving the fruits of your labor. I mean, gosh. All right. Leo, one card, please. Thank you. All right. The Empress reversed you're on the precipice of getting to become the, the empress who wished upon a star. Here you are, right? You wished upon a star within the next three months, Leos, within the next three months, you may be dealing also with an Aquarius. You will be getting a new job that's going to pay you very comfortably. And you're going to receive the news within the next three weeks, three months, even three days. Um, the past, see, someone's dealing with maybe the death of someone where it already happened, right? Your worst nightmare happened, right? That death, that skull, 
dealing with someone, a lost loved one that you're dealing with, right? Dealing with a lost loved one right here and you're seeing the higher picture. You don't have one hawk, but you have two. Massive higher learning. You may be getting information about someone who has passed on that you were like, oh my gosh, okay, now I know why this happened. Now I get it, right? She's sitting on this beautiful tree of knowledge. The Empress has gotten to the pinnacle of knowledge and now she is gaining wisdom, information, and higher spiritual knowledge coming in for Leos. Very, very, I don't, I said pretty. You guys are really pretty. You're feeling pretty, Leos. Well, you guys are, aren't you? You're always feeling good about yourself. And you should. It's the way you feel. It's not, it's the way you think, the way you feel that makes you authentically real. Virgo, we're not gonna forget Virgo this time. Ooh, Virgo, who's lying? Is someone lying through the skin of their teeth is what I heard. Oh yeah, don't come back and lie to me again. Someone who's immature, a child, childlike, someone is guarding, their, guarding themselves, that could be you, Virgo. You're guarding yourself because you're like, you know what? I don't think so. I want justice. So you're being very guarded, defensive towards a younger person who, or a child who is, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquar Aquarius, Virgo. We also have Leo, Aries, Sag. I think that you're um, not seeing or you were not seeing or someone's not seeing. This, this one goes here. Someone is not seeing uh, what has taken place as, I'm hearing a threat. Is someone threatening you, Virgo? What's going on here? There's a very immature person who's threat threatening you in the court system about a child, about children. Why do I say children? We have two uh, bluebirds. You could be in court fighting for your rights, Virgo, children, yep, fighting for money. Let's get one more for Virgo. Oh yeah, you're dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius who says, uh, I'm the lawyer, this is like the lawyer. It could be you're in court right now and you're fighting over money, over child support. You could be dealing with child support. You're really defensive because you want justice and and it looks like someone is very stern, being very stern, almost being like, stern is just a nice way of saying, you know, an ass. Maybe you hired someone, you know, to try and get money for you and you have to pay out more than you thought. You're trying to get a payout. You're trying, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo is trying to get more money. You're going to be really like standoffish. You're, so, someone is ignoring you, not wanting to talk to you, but you're like, or someone's coming at you and you're like, uh, I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not going to deal with you. I'll only deal with the court system. Whatever you have to say, say it to my lawyer, I heard. Okay, Virgo, what's going on? But here, I'm just going to tell you, Virgo, because I saw it and I'm going to tell you, uh, you will win in the end. You will get your free freedom, but at what cost? 
Virgo, at what cost? Probably you're, you're not going to like at what cost. Okay. Libra, sun, moon, and or rising. A little shuffle, let's go. Libra, sun, moon, and or rising. The four of swords, right? The four of swords, well, I'm contemplating, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm in contemplation of what to do, where to go. What's my next move, right? Libra, what's your next move? I really need to feel better about myself and I need to gain more strength. So you need more sleep, perhaps. You need more energy, you need more money. Libra, what's going on? I need to feel better about myself. I don't want to exhaust my, um, my money, so I'm saving my money. I'm thinking putting a plan together that's going to give me and or make me money. I am the strength and I have strength and courage to go on. I just need, I need a break. I just feel like you need a break. Um, I just noticed it's interesting that in the velvet, this beautiful, right? the crown chakra of velvet, violet, purples, um, we have what looks like, to me, several eagles. One, two, three, four. You're getting higher knowledge from spirit as to what to do, what's your next move financially and or otherwise, and you're gaining the strength to go. You're getting ready to go. You're getting ready to do something, but you need to put all your ducks in a row. And you need rest. You need to gain your strength, right? You need to gain your strength so you can look at it. You came out, right? So what does that mean? You are now courageous, strong, mentally, mentally and emotionally very well prepared for whatever is coming toward you. You're balancing your your energy. Your chi, your chi is the yin and yang. I'm going to take one more card for you guys, Libra. Because that's what it is. I have worked hard. I've worked hard. And I don't want to feel like seven of pentacles. I've worked hard to plant seeds. I'm waiting for my payout. I'm waiting for my personal power to get back, to get back my personal power, right? To balance out my energy. Mentally, I feel it's mental and emotion, not emotional, um, your worth. It's not pentacles per se. It could be waiting for some money to come in from something that you've already done. You're kind of just waiting and you're strong in mind and in heart. I'm just going to take one more. Look, I'm glad I did. Empress, you're waiting to become the empress. That's exactly. And look at these, these eagles. These eagles are going to bring you the highest knowledge, the highest good. The stars are aligning. Look at this. It's not a joke. The stars are aligning so that you can move forward and get your due justice. You're getting your due justice for work that you've really done. You've done yourself. You've like overextended yourself, right? And now you're becoming the empress. And now you're getting your karmic payout, which is the highest form of. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's coming in. Just wait to see what happens within the next, um, I feel, four, four, four weeks, four days, four months. Things are going to be popping. Okay, look. 
Oh yeah. Higher knowledge. Libra's massive higher knowledge. Money coming in. Okay, let's continue. Scorpios, let's go. Scorpio, sun, moon, and or rising. Scorpio, here you are. At a distance, someone at a distance. You're carrying the burden and the weight on of everyone else on your back. And what does it make you do and or feel like? It makes you feel like you're carrying too much weight of the world, right? You need to, maybe you need to draw, Scorpio, you need to draw the line in the sand. You really do. Are you traveling? Um, if you're traveling, are you going somewhere where you're not certain? See, because you're looking back, right? You're looking back, Scorpio, at maybe you went on a trip and now someone was really defensive and really harsh with you and you're carrying the burden of their energy, their emotion, their emotional turbulence. You're taking that on upon yourself. You're, you're absorbing that energy, Scorpio. Why? You're, you must leave this and drop it. You need to drop it like it's hot right here. I heard it. Just drop it like it's hot. Emotional turbulence, emotional crap. You got to start setting your boundaries. Tell people how you really feel. I don't see any swords here yet, but it may come out right now. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios. You have seven and three, three of wands and seven of wands, which makes a 10. And then you have a 10 here. You are at the end of your rope. You are, Scorpio, you are at the end of your rope. You're done. You're going to start telling people the way it is. People coming at you, trying to take your energy. You're like, no more. I'm done. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, my God. Again. Again. Drop it. Drop it. Someone, your higher self says, drop these and you will be free. Don't carry the weight of others. Please. Please. You're going to get your due justice, but you're not ready, what? To tell people what you really think. You know what? Tell people what you really think. All right, Scorpio? But you can do it in a way that sets boundaries. Why aren't you using this sword? Scorpio, come on. Drop this crap. Drop this energy from your past. And let's start to transform ourselves and get out of the Ten of Wands. You're at the end. And now use your words carefully. Put Draw that line in the sand. And let's see what happens next. Look at this, Scorpio. Come on. You're being spiritually guided to your happiest place ever. You're being spiritually guided to drop what's not working, who's not working, who wants to come at you with all of their crap. Unload on Scorpio. That is not good. Scorpios don't like being unloaded of others' energy. Because why? It's too much. So follow spirit and you will drop everything so that you can be happy again and see the dawn of a new day. Wow, Scorpio, come on. You can do it. You got people, look, look at this. There it is. Scorpio, your card. The death of what you came from and what you've done, right? Others putting their shit on you, giving you shit. You'll have none of it if they're lying to you. If there's something with the justice system, this is the justice card. If someone's lying to, your, to you, I was going to say to your ass. All right. What kind of a term is that, right? If someone's lying to you, right? Drop it. Drop it and take the high road and set yourself free. Right? Don't you know better? I mean, your card came on the bottom. All right. 
Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and or Rising. Let's see what's going on for Saggy. Sun, Moon, and or Rising. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, Eight of Pentacles, working hard, being strong and doing so, right? Getting your, right, getting your mojo, working hard so that you can attend to whatever it is that you're working on. Emotional stability, your strength and courage is giving, you are getting strength and courage through a job, through what you do, right? There's kids involved here or a soulmate. You're both working hard to what? You have like a vision. There's a vision here. You have a vision. You're, you're working together to, working hard together to get a goal, to set a goal to work for something, to set your security and foundation. Some of you may be having children. Maybe children are involved. Um, this is mas masculine, sorry, and feminine, right? Masculine, feminine. Two people that have known each other from childhood, perhaps, as well. Children involved and or childhood. Uh, a soulmate, if you will, all right? Someone's working really hard. Their job requires them to work hard, right? And the other could be tending to the kids. What's, what is it? That, what else do we need to know for Saggies? Let's see. Saggies, sun, moon, and or rising. Look at that. Oh, all right. I'm going to hold for one minute and say, listen, if you're going within and you find something that you don't like about yourself, or about another, right? This is about the beast within. Who's who's taming the beast or who's seeing uh, something that they've never seen before in another, right? That's, uh, could be, sorry, that's my, the garbage. It could be the, you know, you're with a soulmate or with a lover, a friend or friends. This could be, this could be two friends who grew up together, but you're working hard to either tame someone's, you know, beast within. Like this is, something came out. Someone did, acted out. Someone, my daughter, someone acted out of character. That's what it is, right? And someone's trying really hard not to bring that out again, right? Because it might, you know, it freaks you out, right? When you're like, what just happened just now? You know what I mean? Like someone just became totally not themselves. And I just saw another side of someone that I'm not liking. This came out, right? The moon reversed. You didn't see someone's other side. Oh yeah. You didn't see, Saggy, another person's true side of the beast within or vice versa they didn't see it in you and you're trying really hard to tame that right maybe you're trying to do that with in front of your kids uh or your soulmate right you're trying not to allow people to see how hard it is for you to tame yourself and your what desires whatever this beast means to you right Taming your desires. The beast is like your ego. This sucker is your ego. He'll eat you right up. You know the lion will eat whatever it needs to. It's prey. It will. Why? Because it's hungry. So uh, be mindful of that. And that's your, that is like, don't let it show up. See that? She looks inside and says, holy crap, I didn't see that coming. And you're trying to tame it. Right? Trying to be all chill. Let's take another one. This is really intriguing, I must say. Why? Because, you know, we've seen the beast, but he hides himself. So we have the Knight of Wands, right? This is a continuous cycle, a pattern that has formed where someone does comes in and out. 
I'm talking about one person who's trying to not be like, you know how, a, you know, we say, oh my God, my kid's a teenager. They're an alien. They, they're, they're like an alien. I don't even recognize them. They're out of character. This person is out of character. <clears throat> it could be a feminine who comes and goes, who meaning coming and going is a pattern that has formed that comes and goes what? The beast comes in and goes out, comes in and goes out, come, goes, <laughs> hold on, come, go, comes in and goes out, right? It's like flipping the switch. And someone's trying to really work hard at not getting that out of control. And it happens continuous. It's a pattern, right? All right. So this is really something that you must work on. Kids could be involved. They could be seeing it. They could be witnessing it, right? You have to tame. This is all about reacting. This is about reacting and becoming, you know, the bitch within. Or, you know, be mindful of that. And I think that you might have just crossed that, that boundary of people seeing you, you know, which way do people see you, Sag? Do they see you like the beast and, oh my God, I'm walking on eggshells? Or do they see you as, wow, you're really trying hard to tame your, your desires, Someone's trying to tame the beast within. Okay, that was Sag. All right, next. Capricorn. Capricorn, it is time. It's time to take the high road, the new road. Oh, yeah, I love it. The luck. Luck of the draw, right? Some of you are in Vegas, I just heard. Capricorn, yeah, look at that. I'm taking whatever I know and I'm out. You could have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in your sun, moon, and or rising, or not sun, but your moon and or rising, right? You have Sagittarius as well. Uh, so Capricorn, or you could be Capricorn, Sag, Cusp. Uh, you're taking your knowledge, you're moving on, you're moving out, you're moving to a new location where there's sun and the mountains. You could be moving, Capricorn. Um, it is time. You have enough money, and now the wheels shift. Everyone's moving now, right? There's a lot of people that are moving, moving on. It doesn't mean that you're going to a new house, but you could very well be, yes? You could even just be going to a sunny climate from a, you know, right? From sunny to, right? You know, rain and thunder, et cetera, the Midwest to this, you know, a sunny place. You've decided that you're done or you could be vice versa going from sunny and going back to the East Coast. Who knows, right? You're taking the knowledge and the power that you have within and you're going, you're leaving. You're leaving a place that you no longer resonate with. Look at You know. This is the knowledge. So here, right? Here's the Leo, Aries, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, right? Are you dealing with one person or two? One person has... I, th I really don't think it's two people. I think that you have gained... You've gained a lot of knowledge, right? And now you're using, this is the tree of knowledge that Leo Aries Sag is sitting on. This, of course, is the Egyptian roots. Someone could have Egyptian roots. And, of course, then we have Aquarius here as the star card, right? Going toward a new life, a new community, a community of new people, Places and or things, Capricorn. You're gaining so much knowledge. It's giving you so much emotional comfort, peace, 
piece. Love it. Capricorn, very nice. You've had some rough readings there, Capricorn, so it's time. It's now time. The wheel's turning for a lot of people right now. And I'm going to say it. The karma, the lion's den, that's the lion's den. Saggies, that was the lion's den, can I tell you? That's the portal of the lion's den that you guys are certainly, you're either just getting out of it or you're still trying to, trying to tame it. Okay, Capricorn, it was a great reading. You have the star card, wish upon a star, and go wherever you want because you have the knowledge to do wherever. Uh, some of you Capricorns have been look, researching other lands, other places to go. Uh, maybe you're going on spiritual trip, I heard, because I really feel this is very spiritual indeed service, emotional contentment. Okay, let's go. Aquarius, sun, moon, and or rising. Aquarius, commitment. Whoa, what's going on here? Look at the lion's den. I'm telling you, the lion's den. Coming out of the fear of what you don't know and, and getting into your spirituality. Some of you are becoming so spiritual and starting a new spiritual business. Maybe you're doing something spiritual, right? Maybe you're getting, uh, you're going to be proposed to. If that's the case, congratulations, Aquarius. That's beautiful. Um, your lion's den is getting a new sense of spirituality, researching, learning, starting something different, starting something new. It could involve animals, um, uh, reading animals, the totem animal, uh, a totem animal, You're now ready to make that commitment, Aquarius, that maybe or maybe someone is ready to commit to you that they weren't they were not ready to before. And now they're gathering and mustering up the strength to commit to you. Your animals are important to you. You gain and gather strength from animals. Some of you do animal work. Right, you could be vets, you could be wanting to go into veterinarian, becoming a veterinarian. Oh, I love this! Look at this! Wow, the six of wands! Congratulations, you have gained some freedom, victory from a hard time. What was that? Let's just see. Look at, oh my gosh, look. Some of you are getting proposed to or being getting committed in a commitment, not committed. <laughs> Aquarius, some of you guys are tying the knot. Are you kidding me right here? Holy cow, congratulations. You're getting married. You're getting engaged. Yes. Oh, don't we need this, right? You worked hard for this. You stayed strong. You kept your strength and of resolve. And now you're extremely happy because someone may be coming back to, to pop the question, to say, I'm ready for that commitment. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my gosh, that's great. All right, Aquarius, you guys, that's awesome. Okay. All right, we're doing really good on time. I hope I didn't forget anyone, but if I did, I'm only human. So don't shoot the messenger. Pisces, sun, moon, and or rising. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. My nose, my nose is itching. So someone is talking about you. 
Pisces, sun, moon, and or rising. Whoa. Scorpio card, death. Pisces, what's over? What's done? Oh, double, double. I'm done, done, one and done. One and done. Traveling the world. Hmm. I don't feel that as much. The end. Pisces, what's the end? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is death and rebirth. Hello. Death and rebirth. Rising high. Learning what you needed to learn and moving on. You are, you, you've risen. You have risen. You've risen above what was to what is. Wow, Pisces, what is going on here? You're really happy. After a period of the dark night of the soul, for sure. Death and rebirth, are you kidding me? You're free. You're wise. You're courageous. And you're assertive. I'm free to travel the world. I may be traveling the world after a time where I didn't think maybe I could do it. You have the horse here as you, as you have the lion, the bull, the angel, and the eagle. Death and rebirth, death of the ego. Yep. Kundalini rising, hello, right here. Kundalini rising, Pisces. The Knight of Wands, reverse, because this is the death. This, sorry, can you see that? Hold on. Okay, that goes with the death card. The world card goes with the Kundalini rising. That's what happens after the dark night of the soul. The soul sets, is set on fire. Why? Because it's passion. Reignited passion to what? Make you happy and to be alive again. And not saying that you know what I mean. It's it's a rebirth. It's a rebirth. Here it is. Look. And now you're setting your sights on a new direction, a new place of residence. Some of you may be going from a some of you are going from like right where there's thunder, lightning, Midwest to a sunny place. You may be traveling to see a child right here. There's two. A page and a night, right? That turns into manifestation. Where am I headed? Where am I going? But guess what? The sun and moon is on your side. I have your front and I have your back. You are connected to spirit. You are being protected by spirit. You are rebuilding your, your stability and your survival of where, what and where makes you happy, Pisces. Where and what makes you happy now is your only concern after going from a death to a rebirth. It's beautiful. I wish you so much love and blessings. And I want to say to all of my subscribers, I love you all. I hope that you enjoy my readings. My spiritual guidance is for all of our higher consciousness. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.